Greetings everyone, Pete Pardo here from Sea Tranquility. Welcome to day 30 of albums that are 30 years old in 2024. We've been looking back all month at the year 1994. <clears throat> 31 days in the month we picked out our 30 favorite albums across all genres here that are celebrating their 30th birthdays and 30th anniversaries this year. Today, for my pick number 30, day 30, it's the seventh studio album from this American band, released October 18th, 1994, recorded at AM Studios in Hollywood, California, produced by the band alongside G.G. Garth for Atlantic Records. I'm talking about Stoner Witch by Melvins or The Melvins. It's just Melvins, but we always call them The Melvins, right? Very cool album from this band. Of course, one of the leading stoner rock stoner metal sludge bands post-punk hardcore whatever whatever you want to call them to me they're always just a great stoner band one of the great stoner bands out there uh they've been labeled as grunge too as well like i said sludge metal stoner metal whatever you want to call them and of course this is the features a lineup of king buzzo himself on lead vocals, guitars, and a little bass, Mark D bass, guitars and backing vocals, Dale C on drums, guitars and backing vocals. They're all kind of playing a little bit of everything. There they are right there, right? There's King B right in the middle. King Buzz. <laughs> what do we got on this album? So this album is full of like heavy hitting stoner classics as well as kind of weird short little pieces that come in between some of the longer tracks so you got uh, starts off like one of those short tracks squeetus starts it off right interesting track that leads into queen queen is awesome that's one of my favorite tracks on the album. Uh, man the big huge mountainous riffs on this particular song then you got the uh, sweet willy roll bar another one of those fast and furious little quickie tracks then resolve resolve and no, that's sorry revolve not resolve revolve might be Another of my favorites on here, I think Queen and Revolve are both so good, and this one's like about five minutes long. Uh, excellent, excellent riff and buzz on that one. Very, very cool track. Then you got Goose Freight Train, which is kind of weird and psychedelic and kind of doomy, sort of, right? But not tremendous on the riffage part of it, but just kind of a cool track. Then you got Road Bull, and then At the Stake. At the Stake is another one. It's a lengthy song. This one is like about eight minutes long. Right there, it goes back and forth between this kind of like weird, just kind of uh, psychedelic, atmospheric stuff. And then the big riffs come in. It's this very, very cool track. Magic Pig Detective is another really cool one. Uh, you got some longer tracks this part in the album. You got Shevel, another really good track. Then June Bug, that's another brief one. And then Lividity is nearly nine minutes, or just over nine minutes, I should say, at the end of the album. Another really cool heavy hitter uh good groove on this album too nice bottom end it kind of complements the big fat riffing but the album is not a full-on relentless assault of riffs right there's lots of different kind of things kind of sludgy grungy things happening there a little bit to psychedelia as well right very cool album about 50 minutes long all told it's you know labeled by many as one of their great albums and uh i mean they've got a lot of them and I would say it's one of my favorites for sure. Stoner Rich from Melvins. That is my pick today for day number 30. Uh, what do we have? We have any, I don't think there's any kind of uh, certification or uh, charting anything here. But let's see if we got uh, anything around here. So, apparently sales wise worldwide this album has sold about 50,000 units right that's pretty small but for an album like this not too shabby although you know major label out in the area Atlantic Records so I'm sure for the for the label probably a little on the disappointing side but uh, looked on quite frankly um, very fondly over the years decibel magazine has uh, inducted stoner witch to its uh, heavy music Hall of Fame what else we got here spin magazine listed this is album number nine on the list of the 20 greatest grunge albums of all time all right whether you call it a grunge album or not that's you know up to interpretation um but yeah very cool album melvin's stoner witch got anything else i could show you in here i'll just look at the uh, artwork 
good stuff is very, I mean, it's of its time, certainly, but. <laughs> definitely, definitely something that could have come out of the early mid 90s, right, for sure. Anyway, that's my pick for today. If you know this album, let us know what you think of Stoner Witch down in the comments below, as well as your pick for today. Pick number 30, day number 30. We got one more coming tomorrow, and then we move into the great comeback albums of all time. That's starting up on Monday, so uh, stay tuned for that. Get your list ready, and this is on the web at www.seatranquility.org. We're on Facebook, we're on YouTube all together all the damn time. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and click on that notification bell so you get a of all of our content as a post, and please do hit the like button before you leave. Also down below, we got the links to our Ko-Fi page, our channel donations, our merch page, and our Cameo page. Thank you in advance for all your support there. We'll see you soon here with more stuff we got coming up on the review coup. The review crew is happening tonight. We've got uh, Jamie Laszlo, Rick Labonte, Scott Berry, and George Lemie reviewing a whole bunch of new things. One of them being, of course, the brand new album from the Black Crows, which is called Happiness Bastards. Right. They will be uh, a couple of them will be talking about that tonight, as well as a bunch of other things. I'll be reviewing this this coming Wednesday, so stay tuned for that and lots more. So uh, tomorrow we've got, of course, ranking the albums. I will be ranking the catalog of Voyager, the great Australian progressive metal band. So that's coming up tomorrow. And uh, Hudson Valley Square is on Monday. And uh, yeah, the whole week is ready to come at you. So till then, I'm Pete Pardo. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you soon. Bye bye.